Hello! In this video we will see how to identify ad hoc view parameter names. This is useful in scenarios where you have a requirement to run ad hoc view using Visualize.js API and pass non-default filter values to your ad hoc view. In this video we will check a couple of ways to find out the parameter names for passing the values. So, for the purpose of our use case, I will be using this unit sales trend ad hoc view, which is one of the samples shipped with Chesper Report Server. And it is a chart and it has several filters. Now, if we go to the visualize guide and we check how to run ad hoc view with parameters, we will go to the chapter called API reference ad hoc views and we will open the section for filters. So what it tells you is it's an ad hoc view call and you pass resource container and params and then you put a parameter name and a list of values. So the problem here is that the parameter name is not evident if you just check the ad hoc view in the ad hoc designer. It's not going to be the same as the ad hoc label you're seeing here, and in fact there is no way to check the parameter name from the server web interface. So I have a fiddle here for running this view, and I'm just going to rerun it to make sure it works. And now, <clears throat> how can we check the parameter names? Uh, the simplest and quickest way is to open the developer tools and open the network tab and let's rerun it again so that all the loaded resources are listed here and you want to find the ad hoc view resource in your list in my case it's called 05 view unit cells trend which you can also see in the path specified here for, to the resource and if I open this resource in the network tab and I check the preview and this resource descriptor, there is a query for the atom view. Multi access is just a view type and there is a where condition. And here in the where condition, I can see the list of all the parameters available to ad hoc view. And I can also actually see the default value selected for each of the parameters. So the let's say I want to specify a country when running the this ad hoc view using visualize. So I'm going to copy the name of the country parameter. I'm going to close the developer tools for now. And I'm going to follow the guide and add a params property here. And I will copy the name of the parameter and since it's a list of values I'm going to use an array and I'm going to just pass Mexico and we will run it again. And this is it. The chart displays values for Mexico country uh, filter value. Now Another way we could check the uh, name of the parameters is by logging the ad hoc view metadata and the browser console. The success function here can accept a um, argument <coughs> which it knows uh, that it's going to be the ad hoc view metadata. And let's let's log this metadata into the browser console. And I'm going to open the developer tools again. And this time I want the console. I'll clear it and we'll run the view again. So here we have it, the metadata 
and under the metadata there is there is an input parameters array and here again is the list of all the parameters now one thing that you may have noticed is that in neither of these cases um, we don't see the available values for the filters if you want to see available values for the filters it's not enough to make an out of view call we actually need to check the filters metadata and to do that we need to make a separate call which will be the v input controls not v out of view and we could render the uh, all the filters but we're going to skip that because we're only interested in checking the values and when it's loaded we're going to load the filters metadata into browser console so let me reopen the tools i'm going to clear the console and run this again and now we should see both input controls and ad hoc view metadata here so here's the imp the filters metadata it is an array and each object each element of this array is an object and here you can see all the information about the filter and under the state you will see the options and options is the list of all available values for this specific filter and we only have three and as you can see by default the selected value is canada and that is the metadata for the default input control but when we're running the the add view and pass value of our own it will update these values and run the view with the values that we pass in a call so to recap we saw three ways to check the parameter names for ad hoc views one is find the name of the ad hoc view in the network tab for the ad hoc view loaded resource another one is check the ad hoc view metadata in browser console by passing it to the success function and similarly um, calling input controls and passing input controls or filters metadata to browser console and this last method also allows us to check the complete list of available values for the ad hoc view filters.